My name is Lucius. Oh. I was a gladiator. I often fought here at Carleon. I was a slave from Spain, but some of the others were prisoners of war. We were trained to fight in special gladiator schools. There were different types of gladiators. I didn't have a helmet or much body armor. I carried a net and a trident. I had to fight a man in full body armor. Once I was fighting a prisoner of war. He was losing. Then he stopped and raised his finger. This was a sign to the crowd. If they gave him the thumbs down sign, then he died. But luckily for him, they gave him the thumbs up, and he lived. I was one of the last Roman gladiators in Britain. It was sad to leave, but slowly but surely, the soldiers were leaving Britain, and we didn't get such large crowds at the shows. Why did the soldiers leave? But I think there was trouble in Rome and other parts of the empire. It's a shame you never saw me fight. I was great. I don't think I'd have enjoyed those shows very much. But I wonder why the soldiers left. What was going on in Rome? I'll have to ask Marcus. Oh, I'm back at the painted house. Salve, David. That was the last trip for the lamp. It's time for me to tell you why Roman Britain came to an end. The empire had grown larger and larger. In the end, it was too large. There weren't enough soldiers to keep law and order and look after the frontiers. Italy was being attacked by barbarians, tribes who lived outside the empire. Over time, the emperor started to call back soldiers from Britain and other faraway parts of the empire. They needed to defend lands closer to home. Didn't the people in Britain mind? Oh, yes. We were being attacked by the Saxon tribes from Holland and Germany. We begged the emperor to send soldiers, but the barbarians kept attacking. Then a letter came from the emperor. He said he couldn't send us any more help. He had more attackers than he could handle. We'd have to look after ourselves. By AD 410, the Romans no longer ruled Britain. But people in the south carried on living in the Roman way for some years. Even today in Britain, there are traces of Roman times. Oh, you mean the roads? Yes, and other things as well. Like what? Well, think about it, David. They're all around you. I'll leave you and your friends with a few pictures. See if you can work it out for yourselves. Valley, David. I hope you've enjoyed finding out about Roman Britain. Valley. Valley.